you know, 18, you know what I mean? Because their, their mind is still, even though it's completely destroyed from the time they're born, it's still not as, uh, uh, it, they're still not as stiff-necked as these other women, man. So if you can, man, you know, get, get you a young tenderoni, man. Get you, get you a 19-year-old chick that don't know shit. Especially now, because these women, a lot of them ain't going to college. You know what I mean? They work in, they work in fast food, all these other things. You know, so get, get you one that just don't know what the hell, you know, is going on like that. Because you get a you get a 35-year-old uh, woman who went to Yale, now all of a sudden she's trying to teach you the scriptures, right? For sure. But you, you get a 42-year-old uh, woman, you know, she got four kids. I, I've, been, I've been going to church for, for, for two decades. You can't tell me shit, man. Don't get a woman like that, man. You want a woman that is soft, malleable, okay, that you can manipulate. There's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong, it's nothing wrong with you manipulating a woman, man. In righteousness. Don't have her going off. But shit, there's nothing wrong with it. We're getting manipulated. Like, how about Chanel and Shah, man? All right, let me not stray uh, too far uh, away from the precept. Let me just get the uh, definition for manipulate. <laughs> That's one of the disadvantages of bringing the word out, uh, you know, quote unquote, on your own, because a lot of times, you know, you may get into another subject. You know, you need you need a brother to say, hey, you know, <laughs> you know. But hey, man, it's all this, it's all the spirit. It's all the spirit. You know, you get you get back to it. This is the uh, definition for manipulate: to treat or operate manually or mechanically, especially with skill. So yeah, man. You are, you are mechanically operating your woman, okay, with skill. Okay, do this, do that. Didn't I tell you to do this? Didn't I tell you to do that? I know you shouldn't be, you know, dog walking your woman, you know, and calling her all sorts of shit. But, you know, yeah, don't ask, okay, what, what do you want to eat, sweetie pie? No, we eating here. If she don't, if she don't like it, all right, you know. I, I have a secondary choice that I might pick. Or your ass might get stuck getting what I get, man. Okay? Is Jay gonna pay for it? If Jay paying for it, you, you gonna have to eat it, man. Okay? If Jay want steak and potatoes, Jay gonna get steak and potatoes. That's how it is. All right, if you tell your woman, I want you to make the steak, I want you to make potatoes and broccoli with cheese on it. She need to be doing that. All right, now if she, if she bucking up, that's what it is, you know? But it's not wrong with manipulating your woman, okay? It says to manage or use skillfully. So to manage, it, you're supposed to use your woman. What is what is she there for, man? But to be used, okay? It's not wrong with saying that. But this society is gonna continue to tell you, oh, you, you can't say you use a woman. Well, how come you got all these different female artists talking about using a man? Using a man for his money, using a man for his status, using a man for his credit. What, we, we can't tell a woman to, to, to make a fucking egg sandwich? You know? To iron a fucking shirt? You know? It's lucky. <laughs> let me get, let me, uh, let me get, let me get it again. These women don't know what the fuck is going on, man. Woo, shit. Uh, it says, to manage or use skillfully, to influence especially with intent to deceive now you know that's that's going off a little bit you know we can just take away the deceive part to influence especially with intent all right and you can manipulate you can manipulate righteously and you can manipulate wickedly man we want to manipulate our women in righteousness man all right tell her to do this do that for righteousness sake okay you know, and that happened. That that happened a lot. You know, your, your so-called woman. She say, "Oh, I'm, I'm getting, um, I'm getting something from the store. I'm getting some uh, soup from the store." You tell her, make sure it ain't no pork up in there. You know, and she might say, "Oh, you know, I'm, you know, I didn't already got the soup. I'm gonna just go to checkout." No, no, no. Get, pull your ass over on the side, 
look at the cast and read if it's pork in there. Because if, if you buying it, I'm not eating it. That's how Jake's supposed to be. Jake, throw that shit in the trash. You find out, man, you go to a cookout, now if somebody hand you a plate with some pork rings on it, just throw the whole damn plate away. So you got the, the pork juice all over, the macaroni and cheese all over the corn. Throw the whole plate away, man. If they get mad, you tell them straight up. I can't eat pork. Shit, and they probably know that. They just put it on there anyways. They try to put demons on you. Show you show you what this slice of pepperoni pizza. Hey, man, and I have personally experienced that. I have personally experienced that. You know? You go to a damn family gathering, right? You go to a Thanksgiving dinner. They put uh, uh, pork and beans on your plate knowing damn well you don't eat no pork. They expecting you to just eat around it. They just want to put it on the plate. All right, I'm going you know, to see if you'll eat it, man. Being a fucking demon. So then when you, th when you throw the whole plate away, you know what? I'm good. You know? You get a little pissed off because you're like, these, these people, man, they know that I don't eat this. Yet yeah, this uh, is, once again, Satan going to keep trying. He ain't going to give up, man. Not until our Lord and Savior, how about Shemel and Shai comes, man. Once again, back to the scripture. You know, it's all relative to the spirit. Okay, it says, um, but, uh, but now the righteousness of Yahweh Shemayah Shai without the law is manifested. So does that mean that we don't need the law? No. That means that it's, it's, um, it's not necessary for us to just follow the law and be saved. Because once again, the, the Levitical priesthood didn't really go over that part, that we're, we have all fallen short from the glory of Yahweh Shemayah Shai. So they believe that, okay, by following all 613 laws, by, you know, you know, doing these things all perfectly, that's how you were supposed to make it. No, man. You can do, you can practice all the laws perfectly, you know, and all these things, but it's through the grace, spirit, and power of your Habba Shemir that you have to make it, you know? And it reads, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, unto all and upon all them that believe. All right, speaking about the 12 tribes of Israel, not everybody that believes. Okay? And, and in order for you to believe this word, right, the Spirit has to be on you. The Spirit can't be on nobody but the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Specifically, specifically, one third. Specifically, the one thirds of Israel. Now, the Lord may have two thirds prophesy and say certain things, right? But ultimately, you, you have uh, left-handed prophets too, so they prophesy. They talk about, okay, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, and it comes to pass, right? But that's in wickedness. We're prophesying in righteousness. We're telling you this place is done. This place is through. They're going to build it up. The Lord is going to destroy it, man. All right, and it reads. Um, it says, um, Slakia, this is the book of Romans, chapter 3, and verse 22. Even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith of Yahweh Shabbat to all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh Shabbat being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shabbat, so the anointed deliverer. The anointed savior. Okay, he is the anointed deliverer. He is salvation. Okay, Yahweh Shai. He he delivered. He's salvation. Alright. It says to the redemption. Let's get the definition for redemption. This is the definition for redemption. The act of redeeming, the state of being redeemed. So that that don't that don't really say much, but let's let's get redeemed. All right. So this is the definition for redeem. Okay, it reads to recover property. Yes, yeah, so we're being recovered. We're being we're being seized. Okay. It says to ransom, free, or rescue by paying a price. So. By our Lord coming on the scene, he paid the price. Now he's coming back to get what he bought, man. Like when you have an auction, you don't just get it right then and there. 
you buy the item and then later on you come back and you get it. That's what happened to us. <laughs> we we were we had, we were broken, right? Let's say let's say that Israel is like a broken trumpet that you bought in auction. So you buy it, boom, it's yours, right? So you send it to go get fixed. Okay? Or it's like a car, right? You buy a car at auction, but the um you know the, 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 there's something wrong with the engine. So you go, you send it to go get fixed, and then once it's fixed, you go and you retrieve it, you redeem it, right? Now if you don't have enough money, you're not gonna be able to get it back. And that's why this this understanding this word is like spiritual money. You need enough, okay, in order to get yourself out. Alright, in which that in which the Heavenly Father Son, He's the one who has set up the, uh, uh, this whole thing, man. Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it reads to free from the consequences of sin. Woo hey, man, so by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach coming back, our Lord and Savior, we're going to be free from sin. In the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to sin no more, man. That's going to be the best part about the kingdom. Not necessarily the women, the slaves, all those are pluses. But to have the laws written in our inward parts, man, that's that's where that's where this is really that's where this is really gonna just be amazing for us. We're gonna cry in that day, man. We're gonna cry. You know? It says to remove the obligation of by payment. Yeah, so once something is paid off, you are no longer obligated to continue to pay for it. It says pay for it. Right. Also, to convert it to something of value, yeah. So we were to, at first we were fucking useless, right? Now we are being seen in a sense of value. Now we are valuable, okay? And it says to make good a promise. So this co this covenant, right, that was given to the children of Israel, okay, through Abraham, then Isaac, uh, uh, and then eventually Jacob, man, was given a certain blessing. Okay, uh, which which in, involves the, uh, uh, the everlasting kingdom and us coming up under uh, Yahweh Shah Mashak in that everlasting kingdom and being joint heirs uh, with the Heavenly Father's Son. That's why the word Israel, um, it, Israel, Yah, Yah Sha Allah, he is a prince of the power. Okay, it says to make good a promise by performing. Hey, so our Lord is performing miracles. All right, so we, uh, naturally, we're going to be performing miracles. Us bringing this word out is a miracle. Look at this damn place. This place is disgusting. And then you got us. All right, starting off with the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, man. They're the, one, they're the ones who taught us everything we know. Everything that I know came from the elder apostles of, of uh, GMS, Great Millstone, which are the men of Yasha Allah today, man. Okay, and ultimately it came from the Yahabah Shemiah Shai. Uh, it says to atone for etymology middle english uh red red amen, modification of middle french red red amen, from latin re, redemir from re red remir to take by so we are being rebought okay we'll be we'll be bought back okay and that's beautiful that's beautiful to be bought back Hey man, it's it beautiful to be in the position uh, to teach, man. Uh, and it reads, verse twenty-five: Whom Yahweh has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past forbearance of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai so the Heavenly Father has caused this to happen he sent his son on the scene over 2,000 years ago man right, it says to declare I say at this time his righteousness that he may be selected, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Yahweh Shai where is boasting it is excluded yeah so where, where, where are you Okay. Our battery is getting extra low. It's on 15%. It's 
So when it gets to five, uh, to the spirit, uh, I'm gonna end the video as soon as it gets to five. Cause my phone, whenever it hits five percent, it likes to cut off instantly. And I noticed that last time I made a, a video on the screen recorder, when the power died, the whole the whole video was lost, man. So Lord's will, I don't lose the whole video. Hey, man, and even if I did, who gives a shit, man? The word is still going out anyways. All right, if, if my video don't make it up, it's hundreds, thousands of other brothers that uh, that their videos are going up, man, all across the world. Hey, bro, I'll come to you brothers, man, who are pushing this word on the highways and byways of sincerity and in faith, man. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, you know? Because there's certain days you wake up, man, I can speak for myself, you know, my, my whole body aches. You know, like I said, I, I have, uh, I had a, a, a very deep fracture um, in, my, in my left ankle. So it's got, it's got, you know, screws and pins and, 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 and plates. You know what I mean? Uh, this, ha this happened, you know, before I was in the truth. So, you know, and, and there are certain days where you're fine. And there are certain days where it's, it's hard, man. You know, yeah. It's like, you know, something on my face. But, you know, some days you wake up, man, and it's hard. You know, and this concrete wears down on your body. You know, the job that I work, work at, it's a very flat concrete. And it works upon you. The stones out here, they're concrete. So sometimes you wake up, you know, you get up to go brush your teeth, and it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to walk, man. And through the air, through the spirit, we just gonna bear these infirmities, man, all the way up until the end. Stay, stay, stay up out of the hospital. All right. Hey, cause, cause, cause E, man, E trying to get you. <laughs> Especially now, you go up in there, they trying to stick shit up your nose. You know, would you brothers, man, avoid that test at all costs? Now, nah, really, technically, it's not going off. If you get a, if you get a test, you get a, uh, you know, you get a swab in your nose. It's not going off technically. But you don't know what's on the end of that swab. Uh, the elders were speaking about it. Uh, Elder Gawain, um, which I believe that his um, name on uh, YouTube is GMS Yuan. I believe he and. Uh, 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 there was a camp, the elder Menachem Zappa, uh, and the elder Eric. You know that we're going uh, uh, into what's on the end of that Q-tip, man. There's something on it that, that when you look up under a microscope, it's moving. <laughs> and and, it, and it, it, when they scra scrape it on the inside of your nose, some of it is breaking off, man. So who knows what the hell is up in there? We don't know. Okay? So once again, that's why it says in the scriptures, Thou art wiser than Daniel, okay? Speaking about E, E got all sorts of shit. Nanotechnology, nano bot, hey, you don't know what's up in there, man. Okay, it says, I gotta turn so I can keep an eye on, keep an eye on this battery right here. It says, where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law of what works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Yeah, man, so by everybody talking shit, we, hey, man, all the boasting, where, where is it at? Because we understand through faith, we are waiting for Yahweh Shah Hamashah. We are patiently waiting for him, man. Okay, it's not through, it's not through the law that we're gonna be saved. It's not through our works that we are to be saved. It's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? says, therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. So does that mean that the law is done away with? Once again, like it says in the book of Romans, you know, uh, 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 Yahweh forbid, man, Yahweh forbid that the law uh, is null and void. The law is still to be applied, but that's not what's going to save you, okay? What's going to save you is faith, all right? And by uh, uh, having faith and, and pursuing faith, you're going to do righteous acts. You're going to do these different things. You're going to perform miracles, man. All right? Let me get the definition for a miracle. Because this is a miraculous work starting off what Yahweh Hashem did with the 144,000, man. 
setting them up. Yahweh, uh, by creating Yahweh Shai, okay? That, and then Yahweh Shai created the 144,000 who alongside the Heavenly Father's Son created everything that you see here upon the earth, man. All right? So let's get miracle. Extraordinary event manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. That, that's, I mean, it don't get much clearer than that right there. Right? An extraordinary event manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. An unusual event, thing, or accomplishment. So even bringing this word out is a, is, is a miracle. See the elder apostles of the great millstone bringing this word out is a miracle. They're in their 60s, man. <laughs> you know, they're in their 60s, man, and they don't look at they don't look a day over over 40. Okay, they have no they have no wrinkles. When you look at their face, they have no wrinkles, and it, it is it is far out, man, because it's like man, the Lord the Lord preserves you. And what did he, uh, uh, and what did the Lord? Uh, uh, it's saying about us, man, that we are the salt of the earth, okay, through one of his prophets. You know, that we are the salt of the earth, and salt is a preservative. It says, um, an unusual event, thing, or accomplishment, wonder, marvel. So that's why it said in the scriptures that we would be a, uh, we will be a wonder, right? And we will commit one, uh, uh, wondrous acts, and that we, that the people, uh, specifically, the other nations would would marvel. They, 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 hey man, these other nations can't believe that there's a man in a garment, right, on a very busy, uh, 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 um, a very busy highway and byway, teaching the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yet that's what's happening. Okay. Uh, it says miraculous, miraculously. The spirit. This is the spirit. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video after I read this because I was just speaking on this. All right, verse 29. Is he the power of the Jews only? Is he not also the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. So for you Israelite foreigners that are spread all across the four corners, all right, that uh, uh, you don't know that you're the children of Israel, right? Start, uh, you know, starting off. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man. Cause see, you got Simeon, uh, you got like Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, to where you know certain family members may name you uh, Isaac, or you know they may name you Israel. I've seen certain uh, northern kingdom brothers get named Israel, but just like uh, Judah leads uh, uh, is the leader, Judah also leads in wickedness, which which you know is attributed to darkness. So a lot of Jake, a lot of Jake starting off with Judah doesn't know who he is, man. You know, because even internationally in certain uh, uh, respects, they're telling you who you are. Now that doesn't mean that everywhere you go you see a man of the Lord, but you know, it's it's not as bad. You know, you got in, in Mexico, certain places in Mexico, you have an Israelite brother on the corner bringing out the words of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, and they relatively leave him alone. Okay, that's that's Pablo. He brings out the word. Now here, here it is. You got Jake. You know you walk in the you walk in the camp. You know you at all the way there. You get harassed. You know Jake harass Jake harassing. You. There go there go that there go that nigga man. He think he better than us. You know because at least in Mexico there is a uh, even though Mexico is wicked also and owned by Esau. At least you know everywhere outside of America at least has. Some semblance of what's going on, man. You know. Uh, let me read this again. It says, "Is he the power of the Jews also? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. So you have uh, the Gentiles, right? Who, who uh, you you may have people who look like the other nations that are actually the children of Israel. So you grow up your whole life thinking that you're Japanese, Chinese, Polynesian. When your line goes back." Uh, to Israel, some of you, you know. Now, mo most of the people that are in these different lands, you know, most of the people in China are Moab, you know what I mean? Most of the people that are in Japan are Ammon, you know. 
most of the people that are over there in the uh, Middle East, uh, towards like uh, um, uh, India, Pakistan, y'all are the children of Elon, you know, over there in Qatar, Saudi Arabia, you know what I mean, the UAE, all these other places. You know, y'all are uh, Ishmael. You know, but even over there, you have the children of Israel, man. So that's part of the Gentiles. And they're waking up over there. Some, somewhere in Saudi Arabia, right, there, there is a man of the Lord preaching the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Somewhere in India, there is a man preaching the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Just because you can't find this page, man. Certain pages are just, just hidden. You know? It is what it is. It might have three views. You know? Two views. It, it's going to reach who it's going to reach, man. And that's what it's all about. Okay, it says, Seeing it is one, Yahweh, which shall justify the circumcision by faith and circumcision through faith. So, A, A, the uh, uh, Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad is through the faith uh, uh, in this word. Right, and the spirit has to be put on you to uh to have faith, true faith. Right, because you got faith that your check is coming, right? You got faith that you got faith that your woman is coming home, faith that your kids are gonna get off the bus safe, right? But the ultimate faith is the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is a gift that's given uh to men, women, and children. You know, you have a small child somewhere on the earth saying, Barak the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, I made a, a video. This is a minute ago, maybe like two months ago, and it was a, a family in, I believe, the Philippines, and the whole family was singing the praises of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, they were saying Yahweh Shai. Yeah, it was it was beautiful, man. It was it was beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. Hey, and in the kingdom, man, that's that's how we're gonna be singing. We're gonna be singing songs to Yahweh and to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. At first, we sing, we sing upon our beds, we sing upon the rooftops by bringing this word out, okay? And then the spirit, in the uh, uh, and through the spirit, the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna be making whole songs to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. Speaking about His righteousness, speaking about how He delivered us, all right? Hey, and deli hey, and delivered us from two thirds of Israel, and the, and the two thirds of Israel is going to come through the loins of the elect. They're gonna sing the praises of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. All, all these two thirds, uh, all these two thirds uh, people, man, they're going to come back as righteous, okay? And they're and they're part of the Gentiles too, man, because a lot of the two thirds they don't know who they are, all right? And a lot of them know who they are. That's what pisses me off. And to think that you could have heard this word and to go against this word, man, it, it just it sickens me, all right? But anyways, let me, let me read that again. Man. Um, verse 30, seeing it is one, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that's why, you know, you have the phrase, Shemai, Yasha'Allah, Alanai Yahweh, Yahweh Achad. Here, O Israel, our power is one. Because he is getting, he's gathered the people that are on the side. It's all about the people that are on the side. If you got the people, you got the people saying things out the window, you got the people who, but ultimately, the people that are on this sign, 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe, and the one-third is going to be the group of people to understand this. You have Israel, and then you have uh, uh, the Israel of Israel, okay? You, you have the premier crop, and then you got the cream of the crop, man. Uh, in verse 31, it says, and that, this is the point, um, that I said that I got to uh, through the spirit that I was thinking about uh, and I was speaking about earlier. Romans chapter 3 and verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? So yeah, is, is the law done away with? All right? Hey, Yahweh forbid, man. All right, so let me read that again. Romans 3 and 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh Shai forbid. Yea, we establish the law. So we are we are to establish the law. We are building this law up, man. This law is supposed this law is supposed to edify. It's supposed to build up. Okay, so this is something that we're supposed to constantly go into, constantly going into the law, man. Yet it's not 100% about the law. 
It's about the law, but it's not 100% about the law. So I'm going to get the uh, definition for established. Then through the Spirit, I'm going to go to the book of Revelation, chapter, I believe, uh, 11 or maybe 12. Singing about the harpers on their hearts. So let me get that first. While well, it's fresh in the old cranium. Bear with me, please. Uh, maybe it's four. Yeah, that's what it is. Brock the Alba Shimei I don't know why I was thinking 11. Uh, but uh, it says, uh, establish to institute permanently. Yeah, so this law is permanent. This law is not done away with. All right? It says, uh, oh, that's the spirit. It says, establish a law. Woo! It says found. Yeah, so this, this, these laws are found. All right? Man shouldn't lay with man. Man isn't supposed to lay with man. Woman isn't supposed to lay with woman. Right? You're not supposed to have sex with a woman on a period. There are all sorts of there are all sorts of laws that we break every day. And go eat. Eat with, eat with his big ass offspring. That's the spirit, man. It's gonna be literally hundreds of ospreys going, you know, all around, man. Troops dropping down from them. You know, as you see the spirit. Um, I found establish a settlement also affect. So this law is supposed to affect you. It's supposed to affect your living. It's supposed to, this is supposed to be the, uh, uh, the words that are in this Bible are supposed to prolong your life. You know, and by people ignoring the law, it's taken away from their life. You know, it's shortening their life. Uh, it says um, found to make firm or stable. Yeah, so. We are establishing the law. We are making the law firm. Okay? We are making the law stable. Okay, when you have a, a, a table that's wobbly, what do you do to stable it? You gotta grab it, alright, assess it, alright, what's what's making it unstable? Then you are to stabilize it. Okay? It says to put on a firm basis, set up, establish a son in business. So the Heavenly Father established his son in business. And what was his business? Bring out the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? To into into uh, seal the elect through His words, man. Which He is the Word. He is salvation through this book. Okay, the words that are on it are salvation. Not only that, but He physically came two thousand plus years ago. So I, I got the point on that. I'm gonna read. I'm going to read uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 1. All right, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and, uh, and with him 144,000, which is, um, you know, the elect of the elect, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So that's how you know that it's all men, his, having his father's name written in their foreheads. It's all men, 12,000 out of each tribe. 12,000 men out of Judah, 12,000 men out of Benjamin, 12,000 men out of Levi, 12,000 men out of Simeon, 12,000 men out of Zechariah, 12,000 men out of Ephraim, 12,000 men out of Manasseh, 12,000 men out of Gad, 12,000 men out of Reuben, 12,000 men out of Naphtali, 12,000 men out of Asher, 12,000 men out of Issachar, the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? 12 times 12 is 144. 
my math, my math is horrible. I've never been good at math, man. But I do know that small sum, you know, 12 times 12, 144. And this is the spirit, man. Hey, man, because I've been, I've been, I've been going, and you know, it, it, I haven't got an alert <laughs> from my phone, man. So maybe through the spirit, not maybe through the spirit. Uh, hey, this, 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 this point had to come out. Right, this is that this is that lamp that had the oil in it, man. Hey, Lord's will, Yahweh Shimashah continues to pour the oil in us. That hey man, this this word is all we got. Alright, this word is all we got. The Lord takes away all sorts of things from you to prop you up. Right? Like the elder you call I not says, man, in order to uh, elevate, you gotta separate, to be holy, to be separate. You know, let's get the definition for holy. Holy, worthy of absolute devotion, so separate. All right, like if you got your favorite pair of shoes, you're going to keep that separate from all the other shoes. All right, I'm, this is my favorite pair, right? Having a divine quality, so to be holy, the Lord has to be, you know, dealing with you. And you know, and really to be holy, you have to be of the elect, which the Lord's will, or of that number. I don't know if I'm of the elect. You know, I'm called, but I'm not chosen yet. Okay, but um, anyways, back to the scriptures. Revelation chapter 14 and verse... Awesome. I'll go to two. Well, actually, I'll go back to one. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, Yehoshai, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. So, you know, even though this, when it says his, it's speaking about Yehoshai's father, he's our father also, okay? Yehoshua, he exists, he to be. It says his father's name written in their forehead. What's his name? Yehoshua. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps and singing the praises of Yahweh Hashem Shot. It's going to be like a song. Like when you hear a bunch of singing and you hear everybody hit the same note at the exact same time, it's beautiful. All right? And it says, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man can learn that song with 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb with us wherever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So even though we're uh, found in fault with the people, it don't matter. What's the opinion of these people, man? Right? We, as long as we are, are found righteous in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, that's ultimately what matters, man. Because these people, the people that are on this side, they're not really going to re regard the words of the Lord. Two thirds of them, man. All right? That's why the Lord is going to find find them in contempt. Right? They're going to find them guilty, and they're going to sentence them to death by pain. Okay? Hey man, so I hit the points, man. Hey man, Kwam Kwam Yasha Allah, brought call Akim to you brothers, man, who are pushing this word uh, in sincerity and in faith, man. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yasha by Hashem Rakakudash, brought a thought to you brothers, man. Kaya Harakakudash to the Holy Spirit, the rest of the family, you know, the water to 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 the Harakakudash to the Holy Spirit, the rest of the family uh, uh, to this lesson. of that number man and I can continue to push this word uh, and, and help you know edify the whole full elect man you know to build build the brothers up build the elders up build the brotherhood up man that's all we want to do build the brotherhood up you know what I mean so now you know hey man this word hey Lord's will it's like your Lord's will I can come out on the highways byways and bring this word out man so uh, before I end this video, I just want to turn towards the east. It's all the praise on the Lord. Okay, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of the Great Millstone who rule well, and teach well, and honors to you brothers who are uh, bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith, man. You know, 
Shalom to you brothers, man. Shalom to you brothers, man. Brought call Akim to you brothers. And continue to push forward. Continue to push on in your Hawa Shim Yahweh Shai. Continue to uh, hey man, continue to persevere through it all, man. You know, we go through certain things. I had certain problems, you know, I was dealing with prior to coming out here, but I told myself, you know, through the spirit, you know, hey, hey man, fuck all that. You know, put that on the side. It's game time, man. Like when LeBron steps out on the court, he ain't thinking about, you know, he ain't thinking about the argument he just got into with his brother. He ain't thinking about, you know, oh damn, I owe this bill or I have this problem coming up or this and that and the third, man. You know, for you brothers, man, if you do have a problem, hey, with your woman, hey, man, hey, man, just stick stick to the scriptures. Who gives a fuck about that? All right, we're not even worried about that. You know, beforehand, you know, in your younger years, you know, you may try to show your woman something or, you know what I mean, or things like that. It's not necessary. All right, all you got to do is continue to move forward through the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. The Lord is going to take care of the rest. You know, you, uh, you follow the law, sections, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right, so today is also the new moon. This is the spirit. Today is the new moon. Is the new moon. So uh, six days from now, going into that seventh day, all right, you know, you're, you're, you're to rest, man, which, you know, being here in Babylon, you may have to work or whatnot, but, you know, don't don't uh, don't uh buy or sell, you know, rest, you know, and just, and just, and just you know, uh, relax. And you can still do videos or whatnot, you know, but, you know, just, just rest, man. Or try to rest. It's just hard. It's hard to rest here in Babylon the Great, man. So once again, Barak call I give it to you, brothers, man. Keep pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. This is your brother, Jashaam. All right. And may the Heavenly Father continue to bless you and your households, you hopeful elect of Israel, man. The people that are on this sign. I'm going to keep referring to that. Hey, man, because ever since I got this sign, it's great. You know? Hey, man, the people on this sign, man, this is who we do it for. The elect, the one, the 144,000 and the one-thirds of the people that are on this side, man. Hey, destruction to the two-thirds of Israel, destruction to Esau, Edom, and destruction to other nations. All right, uh, Shalom, okay, DTA, okay, and Abad Babal, Shalom.